Hi, I'm Merritt, and I'm only organized in my planner. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, I'm going to do something I have not done on this channel before, which is to show you how I plan um, my meal plan for the month. So, I have this Woman's Day Everyday Cookbook. I saw this back when my kids were little um, in the Woman's Day magazine in the back of every in the back of every issue. They had a month of recipes, and eventually they did away with those, and I would try to search them online, but I was having a hard time finding um, all of them that I liked, and so I bought this cookbook, and it really is 365 days, and it tells you, so let's, I'm just going to flip to December so that you can see what we're doing here. Um, all right, let's. So if you look at December, it tells you every day of the month it has a it has a recipe and it has a shopping list for week one, week two, week three, so you know exactly what you're gonna buy. So I don't eat everything that's on here. I'm not an overly picky eater. Um, but I you know, I don't have kids in the house, so some of the more kid friendly recipes I don't eat. Sometimes it's just me and my husband, he might not eat things. So what I do every month is I go through um, the, the cookbook. Sorry, words, words, Merit struggling with words today. Um, I go through the cookbook and I pick out the ones that I know I will eat. Um, and I put them in my monthly food planner. So here is my Franken planner. Um, and I go to the section called food. I didn't chop my, um, I didn't chop my tabs off this month. I need to do that. Um, and this is, notice it says ideas. I don't know if you can see that because of the way the light is shining on here, but ideas. And so this is, I might not plan, I might not eat those things on exactly that day, but... I will eat them at some point during the month usually, or it gives me ideas about things that I could cook. So what I'm gonna do today is I've got my Woman's Day catalog. I've got some Christmas stickers. I'm going to use these Christmas essential holidays here. And I'm gonna mix them with some rainbow basics. We're gonna have to do a little sticker surgery as we go. Um, but I'm gonna use these green ones. And there are some blue ornaments, and this blue I think matches nicely. We'll go back. I think that blue matches nicely. So I might be, do green and blue. Um, I don't know whenever that's a very electric blue color, and so I don't know um, when else I might use that. So I'm gonna just kind of stick my pencil in here to see. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, I'm not going to stick my pencil in there. I'm going to have to stick my scissors in there because um, I'm going to use the pencil. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, also have these Christmas stickers and some colorful boxes that I may need to use as we go along. All right, so first thing I want to do is go through, go through the cookbook and mark down the days of things that I think we'll eat and and so I'm just um you know just put a little mark on the day so this um fish and veggie chowder we will very likely not eat hot and chili chicken has orange marmalade chili powder salt and chicken drumsticks. I don't have drumsticks, but I do have some chicken thighs in the freezer. So that is something. So I'm just gonna put a little X on Friday the 2nd, because this is December 2nd here. I don't know if you can see, it's very small. December 2nd. So I'm gonna put an X there. And then I go um, meatloaf. We do love some meatloaf, and so that could be an option for us. And we do like lasagna, but I'm probably not going to go through 
um, the pain of making a lasagna in December. So, uh, roast beef with red pepper basil butter, probably not BLT pizza. We'll probably have a pizza night one night, but I won't make it. Um, salsa pork dinner, yellow rice mix, vegetable oil, pork chops, tomatoes, and that sounds really good. So let's put December 8th, and I don't know if we've ever made that before. Um, I have loved every recipe I've ever made out of this cookbook, by the way. It is absolutely delicious. Um, lamb and spinach stew, I would love, but I cannot find lamb shoulder in any grocery store near me. I live in Georgia. I live in South Georgia in a very rural town, and you cannot get um, lamb anywhere. Um, Alfredo peas and bacon. Uh, probably not cod with zucchini. I don't know that I have cod, but I do have some sort of white fish. It's zucchini, chickpeas. Okay, see, when it says golden raisins, I'm out. Um, so, but I could do some sort of fish with zucchini. Let's see, vegetable oil, zucchini, onions, chickpeas, and spaghetti sauce. I could do that part and be perfectly fine. Um, black beans and rice, yes, please. And chicken pot pie, again, yes, please. Pork insider stew. I do not like sweet potatoes, which is the first ingredient in there, so I will probably pass on that. Um, wasabi baked halibut. My husband is not crazy about wasabi. Chili, absolutely will do chili. Usually I do a lot of chili in the winter, and then um, I will freeze it. In fact, I have laughed that I have my daughter. We, we were at Thanksgiving, and she was shopping in the pantry and the refrigerator before she went back. She has just graduated from college and has her first big girl job. And so she was shopping in the pantry to save a little money. And um, she did say she had made chili before she came to Thanksgiving and uh, had frozen it. So she takes after her mother and her grandmother in this area. Um, turkey thighs... Red wine, onions, garlic, rosemary. Okay, I probably will not do that with turkey thighs, but I would do it with chicken thighs. So that is December 18th. I could do that. Yeah. Red wine or chicken broth. Yes. Um, I probably will not make a pot roast because that is a lot of food and we will be going out of town for Christmas to my in-laws. Um, my husband is not a fan of tofu, and I, I can take it or leave it, but it has to be cooked right for me to love it. I guess if I was cooking it myself, it would be fine. Um, flounder with zucchini, it looks like this is a Parmesan flounder, so, um, yes, again, I have a, some sort of white fish. Garlic, cumin, chicken thighs, oh, that's the 22nd, this is the 21st. All right, Sicilian pasta. Again, raisins, no thank you. Um, we won't be doing scallops. Okay, this has on, look, see, even for Christmas, it has a maple pomegranate glazed ham. I very likely may be cooking Christmas dinner, but it will not be ham. Um, steak sandwich. Okay, so I'm going to be out of town 23rd, 24th, and let's see, the 23rd to the 26th. Not that it matters, because I just put these down and I cook them whenever I want them. I don't necessarily pay attention to the dates. But this bow ties with white beans and broccoli, that sounds really good. And then chicken tortilla soup. I'm just going to kind of look at the last three. Shrimp and corn chowder I probably will not make. Although it does look really good. Um, pork cutlets with... Alright, let's go with the chicken tortilla soup. The 
28th. All right, so now I know what days I am going to, or which days the recipes are gonna fall on. So notice I put my little X's on the days. So I need to have enough stickers that will cover those days. I just, again, my space is small. I need more of it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's see how many. that we can make. So I want them between these two sizes. Do you see, like I like these sizes and these sizes. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think I can work it with just green. And we can do these. So the second, we will have one, and the third, that almost fits perfectly, we'll put them, let's cut out a little notch for the three. And we may, we're going to be doing a lot of sticker surgery. So we will hold on to this little square because we may need it. All right. So now, we know on the eight. We are going to have okay. See when they're not see through. This is what I need my my straight edge here. There we go. And then we're going to cut off. We're going to cut off this edge right there. I hope we didn't screw anything up. It's not super even because I got a little wonky at the end there, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just me looking at it. All right, there we go. See, it's a little crooked there, but I'm okay with that. All right, now um, we'll do the 12th. All right, do we want to use any blue stickers? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's eleven. I think it'll be okay. I think we can work eleven. <clears throat> you know what? Let's do some more stickers. I'm gonna pull this one up, and let's do. One, two, three. We'll do another blue one. We'll do one blue for every two green. So that means we can add. And I say that it might not work out that way because you know you don't want like two blue like two blue right here or two green. Well 
we'll just play it by ear as we go. So let's take out this little notch. Oops. I was about to cut the whole wrong thing. Were you yelling at me when I was about to cut down here? Because that would have been very dumb of me. All right. So now, see if I do this, I would end up with another blue in here. So it'd be green, green, blue. So I'm actually gonna put a blue in over here. So I'll stick that right there. <coughs> make ourselves a blue sticker right here. Get my scissors out. My, not my scissors, my ruler. Word, you know, sometimes words are hard. Sometimes words are very hard. Alright, now let's see if I can do this one straighter than I did the last one. Maybe. Maybe she is. I hope it doesn't bother you that I turn the pages upside down because sometimes it helps me to be able to see. All right. Um, I've heard someone, may have been Elise, I'm playing with Elise, who said that somebody said it made her viewers dizzy when she turned her pages. All right. So we'll add this green one here. In the comments, if you want to, you can let me know if you would prefer for me to speed things like this up so that you don't have to watch me do all of the scissors, do all the scissors, do all of the sticker surgery, the trimming. And I can do that if you want in the future. I just have never done a, um, I've just never done a meal plan video before. And so I thought that I would just show you exactly how I did it. And, all right, see again, if I do, then I'll end up with another blue one right there. So then I'm gonna do blue here. Oh, I didn't quite cover up the wind turbines. So let's do that one more time. <clears throat> cover up. Cover up wind turbines. All right, let's go back to the greens. Let's see if we've got. Right, put those there. Mm. I think those look like that'll be fun. Okay. And then a blue and a green, or do we want to do two greens? I think we're going to do blue and green. All right. So, we'll do this blue. Look, after I said, we probably won't even do any blue, I end up doing almost half of them blue. Or it may be half of them counted. Oh my goodness, I can hear it. the wind is blowing and I can hear the acorns falling outside of my window. And they're quite loud. All right. All 
Okay, last little sticker. And then we can actually start decorating. I think it needs a little bit. A little bit more. To see that 28 pretty well. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now that is done. So now we can add in, we can start adding in our cute little stickers. Okay. I got down. How's that? Can, are we in frame good? Can you see? All right, let's let's add some cute little things. Um They are all clear, so we're just going to start sticking things in all cute-like. Usually, I would <clears throat> have them in the corner or touching the, the stickers, but... I, um, oh, where did my white pen go? So normally I would have them in the corners and, but that would be if they were paper stickers and these are clear. So this is a 0 0.808 Sakura Jelly Roll. And I saw, did you guys see um, Elizabeth from EJ Joyful Plans did a pin sticker and said that these were not the best ones. She loves, um, she loves a different pin that I had tried and I didn't like it. So I wonder if the one that I got was a dud. Um, mine, I had a really hard time with the ink coming out of the one that I got, which is of the ones that she loves so much. So I'm not sure if it was, um, if it was the pin or if it was me, let's put this. I want to be able to see that little 16 right there, but that looks cute. And we can have a little present right here. I want it crooked. I kind of like it sideways like that. Um, okay, now part of the reason that I put the blue stickers on here was because of the blue. All right, we're going to cut this just so it'll fit cute right there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I got the blue stickers because it had the blue, the blue ornaments. So let's put this guy right there, kind of hanging on. Um, what else do we want to add? Let's just add some ornaments around because these are super cute. Uh, does anybody else struggle? I feel like I say this in every video. Does anybody else struggle getting stickers off of the page or is it just me? We're going to stick that one kind of right there falling over. This one, you know what, <clears throat> that's not going to go there. Let's put it right here. All right, we need another blue one on this side. So let's put him... Now we can add in a few more little, little 
little presents and things. All right, we have a red one. Let's do, oh, oh, I like this one. He's tall and funky looking. Okay. Now see, that kind of bothers me that he's, Oh, but I just messed up my sticker. Did you see that? It's okay. It's not overly noticeable. We'll get that guy there. And we'll put this one there. And that should bother me, but it doesn't really. Oh, getting these stickers off of this page. I mean, just struggle bus. All right, let's put this guy there. <clears throat> and then we will I see that would be a cute place for a tree if we moved that ornament. Hmm. Wouldn't that be cute right there? Oh, we could put it right here. Alright. Let's... I know when Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve are. So this is the eight Sacro Jelly Roll. I have a 10 that I feel like covers much better, but this one was the one that was easiest for me to find at the moment. And so I do see some shadowing behind it. See now Elizabeth at EJ Joyful Plans has got me all jacked up realizing that I don't have the best pen. Now I'm going to have to go buy new pens so I can have the one that works. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, this is a five. It definitely does not work. Better. Okay. I don't know where my where my 10 is, but that's okay. Or 1.0. Alright, let's let's add this guy right there. All right, I think that's kind of cute. What do you think? Um, again, like I said, we're just putting our meal plan ideas on here. So I think that it looks good. Let's put it back on the discs in here. So grab my Franken planner out. And go to my food ideas. <clears throat> there we go. So bright and colorful. Maybe I should do a follow-up video so you can see what I actually made and if we liked it. How do you feel about that? Um, let's take that out so you can see it really well. All right, on the discs. Um, I really want these white discs in expander discs. If anybody knows where I can find expander discs in white, holla at your girl because I really want them. Um, I feel like this would be better on expander discs because it gets really tight. <clears throat> These discs have, are, have struggled. I would even take plastic ones. I know that sounds awful, um, but I would take plastic expander discs. I love the way it looks on white and that it just sort of, you know, seamlessly goes into the page. So anyway, there is my, my meal planner for December. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, Click that like button. Love it if you would subscribe to my videos um, or subscribe to my channel. Sorry. Um, anyway, I try to post um, regularly, as regularly as I can. Um, usually Saturdays and Mondays. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending. Um, watch what you want to. Don't watch what you don't want to. It's it's your life. You do you, boo. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this, though, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.